All right, so this update is pleasing to me and hopefully to you too. So I ordered some filters just to test fit, see how it work. And this little shorty seems to work just fine. I got clearance and it's kicked sideways, but that's the closest it'll get to that valve cover ever. I can kick this over to about here and then straighten it up and run it pretty much parallel with the valve cover right along this path. So I think I like that. I like the idea of having a filter much better than running one of those turbo guard screens. So I'm gonna stick with this. I got these little Edelbrock filters. I got that one and uh, like a 10 inch one that sticks way the hell out here off of eBay from some seller that was pretty decent price on them. The shipping wasn't so great, but it, it ended up coming out cheaper than if I had to go buy one anyways. And they're, I don't know how Edelbrock air filters are compared to like K&N and whatnot, but it's gotta be better than the little knockoff eBay special no, no name China ones. But anyways, so this is test fit fine, fits great. Got this beauty on, she's bolted up. I just had uh, some zinc and grade eight hardware on the outside. It's not seen, eventually I'll change it out to stainless probably, but for now that'll work because I don't have, actually I do have stainless bolts I could use because I was thinking I would need a hex head because I was planning on putting the bolt on the inside, but I cannot fit a bolt inside of this. I'd have to order one short enough. And in that case, I would need a hex head to be able to put a wrench on because obviously I can't get an Allen key in there. But anyways, this line is just regular braided rubber. Hopefully it doesn't have an issue being this close to the header. If it does, I'll end up having to get some thermal wrap stuff like that. Put over this, we'll see. This is 6AN PTFE. This is the pressure side, obviously. This side doesn't see pressure, so just rubber should work fine. It's cheaper, it's easier to assemble, etc. It's more flexible as well. This is the pressure side going down. I still have to run the pressure, or not really the pressure, but the return line from the rack up to this AN fitting. And the reason it's not done is because it's sitting here. And turns out 90s would work better than the 45s that I thought would work good. Originally, I thought I'd need 45s at the bottom, so I had 90s for this and for this. Or actually, I was gonna do a 45 here, but I I thought one of those at the bottom was gonna have to be 45. Turns out 90 is a perfect fit for down at the bottom on the rack, so I needed three 90s. So I went ahead and ordered two more just so I have an extra in case I need another one because I don't like having to wait on stuff. Impatient as hell. Anyways, so, Turbo fit up. I still need to do my drain line. I'll probably do that a little bit later. I've just got it taped off right now. It's sitting right here. Uh, at least the, the mounting adapter for it, the uh, flange, whatever, whatever that's called. So I gotta put that on. That converts it to half MPT. I'll put one of these on there, straight fittings probably, or maybe a 90, depends on how I route it. I really don't know how I'm going to route it yet keep it away from the heat probably is going to end up going 90 and then cutting back and then down through this gap more than likely the feed for the oil is right here so that just goes like so showed that in a previous video this is just rubber line as well doesn't need to be ptfe it's just oil going through it and it's not high pressure um still got to do the down pipe and what i was working on earlier other than this power steering. I also got this done. So I got my line, which I don't know how this clear line is going to work. Uh, it's just what I had, but that's the overflow comes down to here. And then this other barb right here on my finger is the breather. And I mounted those up just off of this little bracket on the side lip. I had to drill this hole for one of those brackets to fit. The other one's just behind this little lip. Worked out nicely. Yeah, the, uh, this tank, the way it works is it has, oh, screws forever. Anyways, it has one tube at the bottom. It's not gonna focus probably, but that hole down there at the bottom that shows light, 
that's where your coolant will come in at. This is just a breather, this top hose. And that allows the air to come out as the coolant goes in. That way it's not a sealed system because if it's sealed, obviously it couldn't let the pressure out of the radiator into this overflow tank. But anyways, that's not mounted up. Nice and neat. I like the way it came out. Looks like a clean appearance. I don't know if I'm gonna end up keeping this. I might end up changing this out to a flatter one that's wider. I don't know if I like how far that sticks out. I thought about mounting it up here. I might still do that. My only thing there was I have to run a line from the rack to that fitting. And I don't know how I would route that cleanly, keeping it away from the exhaust. So like I said, the uh, lower radiator line ended up being this Flex Universal one because I couldn't get anything that I ordered to fit right. Um, the other thing I started working on is wastegate. Now I've got a piece cut and I've got my gaps down to where I'm comfortable filling in any little gaps I have left. And then I've got one little pie cut here to kick it off. Then this will mount here like so. Then I will put a flange on the end of this for the wastegate, mount the wastegate on the end so the wastegate will sit um, ballpark right in here and it'll kick off and go straight to the downpipe or go up to the downpipe. Now I have to get, I'm probably going to start getting the downpipe built before I, I will ever weld this because I want to make sure I have enough space for the wastegate to sit and still have a dump tube to go to the downpipe. I don't want the wastegate to pretty much go straight on top of the downpipe. I don't know if that'd be a heat issue or not, um, but I'd rather have a little bit of pipe travel room between the wastegate and the downpipe so it's not directly on it. Uh, I doubt it matters because it's coming straight off heat here anyways. Anyway, so that's what I got done. Um, like I said, I'll probably end up tightening down this turbo and start working on this downpipe, at least get it this straight section here. So I have some idea of where this wastegate's gonna mount. And I'm waiting on 90 degree fittings from a PTFE line. And I got uh, these exhaust hangers, along with these rubber hangers. And that will hang off the front leaf spring mount, like I said, to support the rear. The front, I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm gonna mount it. I don't know where I'm going to support it quite yet, but there's going to need to be a support somewhere in here. I might run a bolt off of this little lip. Don't know. There is a drain hole right here. I thought about just running a riv nut in that and then putting a bolt on it. Well, we'll see. But uh, yeah, that's it for now. It's the start of the weekend. Down here on the coast, we have something called scraping the coast, which is kind of like a low rider. Uh, it's supposed to be low riders mainly, but it's turned into ricers and lifted trucks. But it's kind of like a cruising the coast thing for low riders, more or less. It's a big event down here for cars. They do a thing at the drag strip. They have events all down 90. And we normally don't do any of the, the other events but we go to the drag strip because normally the fast imports that come down hit it. Some of the low rider cars have uh, actual performance builds to them. And it's normally a big party at the drag strip. So that's tomorrow night, I think. I will probably be there. I might come out here and work on this a little bit tomorrow during the day, don't know. Uh, maybe I'll get some work done Sunday, I don't know. I don't know what my weekend plans are, but I'm hoping to have at least my downpipe fabbed up as far as design my pieces cut i don't know if i'll have them tack welded yet I definitely won't have them welded up but I, I might have them tacked in place for how i want to run them and uh hopefully next video i'll have a downpipe in place for you and maybe a wastegate too it's getting there guys it, i i'm getting close to where we can almost fire this thing up and i just pray that uh this thing holds together and i don't sling a rod or some shit hopefully my my leftover build from years ago that sat hasn't gone to shit so we'll see thanks for watching guys and uh
subscribe and keep up for more. Later.